All right, what's up? So I have a drop a card pinball machine that I got and uh, it needs um, some work here. Uh, actually lots of work. So it has a bunch of rust, um, has some wear. Um, just trying to see if I can bring this back. So it has a real bad rust spot here and rust here. I took this piece off and I uh, started kind of working on some of the coin door. You can see there's a lot of rust. But uh, I started trying some different things. I started reading on the internet and actually I took these pieces off and I cleaned them up. But these were like really, really filthy. And um, then I kind of tried to clean some of this up here. And then I also um, heard about this uh, Coke and uh, taking it and actually um, rubbing uh, aluminum foil on it and it's had a little bit of success you could see it kind of bubbling when I put it in but it still has some really deep uh, rust marks and for this here uh, just kind of used uh, simple green and let it soak in with some water and then just kind of wiped it down with um, magic eraser that is toast but it had like a lot of little like little grooves here and, and whatnot. It seems like it came out okay. And I noticed in this, because it's like an adhesive, um, it kind of came up here. So I'm going to kind of clean the glue and stuff underneath. And then I'm just going to kind of glue that back down. Here's the thing that I thought was really, really cool is, um, so let's see, 10 cents. I think it goes like this. Uh, oh, wait, it goes this way. It was, I think it was two nickels, 10 cents, and... Uh, 25 cents but if you look the slot is actually the size of the coin right so that's pretty cool so with some of this other rust uh, i'm going to try using it on the coin door uh, i got this rust dissolver and it's like a gel that you just spray on and it says that you can use it for chrome but you have to like kind of wet it so i want to try to take all the rust off of this door but i want to try to keep that artwork so I'm going to go ahead and wet the coin door and then I'm going to go ahead and spray it. Uh, I just have like a wet paper towel and I'm going to go ahead and kind of just clean it and get it wet. Then I'm going to spray it, go have dinner and see if anything happens. See if that gets improved at all. But you can kind of see what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so I got it all sprayed down, uh, wet it down, and then I sprayed it with that uh, rust off stuff. Um, so it's just kind of like dripping. I got it dripping into this bucket. And uh, just gonna leave it here and uh, come back and see if it actually did anything. I really want to focus on there, so I might spray a little bit more there where that logo's at, just to see uh, if I can get that area clean because I think the rest of it I can kind of work with it. But I really, really want to try to uh, get that spot clean. But um, yeah, so now we just kind of wait patiently. And I went ahead and opened it up. I was debating whether to take the door off because I wanted to see because it was dripping and I was thinking about turning it horizontal but um, I started doing it and then I just stopped because I was like eh, let me just test this and see how this goes if it goes well then I'll go ahead and start taking off some of the other pieces and uh, just kind of starting to remove all the rust off of all the metal pieces all right so let's go eat and have some dinner but by the way when I was looking inside the pinball machine I happened to find this and I'm assuming it's the old pinball. Uh, I don't know if it's the original or what, but uh, there was a new one in there. It's real chrome and it's, it's, it's real shiny and whatnot. So I'm just gonna kind of drop that there and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it uh, just a little bit. And I'm gonna see if that actually kind of cleans off some of the rust off of the ball. It's kind of like just practicing on these different surfaces and just see what works. All right, and I got this and then I have another piece underneath kind of soaking in that stuff so we'll see how this stuff works I don't know does anybody have any opinions on this stuff and I got the gel so that way it would stick because uh, if I got like a spray or something like that I just didn't think it would stick as much I figured the gel would have a little bit more uh, consistency so it wouldn't run all right let's leave it okay so I finished uh, eating and came out to this and it looks like uh, looks like stuff is coming off. So it says to go ahead and just kind of scrub it off with some water and then dry it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some water and a magic eraser and just kind of see how far uh, some of this stuff comes off. So let me go do that and kind of just start scrubbing and whatnot. 
Okay, so this was after about an hour and uh, getting all the stuff off there. Um, I have to look at the old other video or other pictures that I have. It looks like the chrome kind of um, a little bit nicer here on top, and it look doesn't look as thick. I know it's kind of hard to see on camera. It still looks really dark, but it looks like the chrome is slowly starting to come back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another application and just see if we make any progress on that and then I have some other parts too that I'm going to kind of run through and see if uh, I was able to get any of the rust off so let's go ahead and spray it again and then see uh, just give it some time to soak and see what happens okay so some other parts that we're going to go ahead and address is this part here which is part of the apron and then right here where the plunger is at it's all kind of rusted so I'm going to throw some of that stuff on there and uh, see if it kind of clears up some of that but I'm gonna just really try to be careful and keep it really isolated to these rusted parts so uh, let's go ahead and give it a try alright so it's the next day and it did not get everything off but it does look like it's an improvement over what was there but if you look it still has some rust and whatnot so I'm gonna have to like maybe take it to a shop to get to get it chromed and get it finished up um, I started also uh, kind of messing with some of this and uh, just seeing if I can get some of the rust off and if you remember this was all rusted this was rusted and using a little bit of paint so I'm going to kind of sand paint and try to blend uh, all of this together to kind of make it uh, look kind of the way it should be which is more like this and uh, just kind of try to touch up some of the little spots here and there and then I got to figure out how to address this so I was talking to a buddy of mine and he said I'm um, probably gonna have to like um, Restencil it and do the whole thing from scratch, but I'm probably gonna take a picture of it so that way I can uh, rebuild it like vector and then what I was thinking about was sand it repaint it and then maybe just throwing like a projector a projector on it like a stencil and uh, Since it's mostly lines. I think I can just get away with uh, using straight edges and painting it and just taping stuff off uh, so uh, I guess let me know what you think. I'm going to try to go ahead and do that because I think that will be the quickest route for that than trying to fully try to touch up and restore. I mean I think that is just completely shot. Um, but some other pieces that I went ahead and did uh, were this here and this actually came out pretty good. Cleaned up all this um, coin slots and all of that so that looks good. Um, that kind of fell out there. Just got to put that back on. So that came out pretty well. Um, started fixing some of these here. So these are the plastics. <clears throat> I need to actually go through and kind of clean those up. But I also noticed that this um, was like this. So it would actually never make contact uh, here to push the ball out. So I found out that that wasn't working and I thought maybe it was like switches or some kind of complicated thing but actually it was just the, when these rubbers were installed because these are new rubbers that um, they were putting in they were put on in a way where there was no way that that was ever going to make contact so I went ahead and addressed that and fixed that and actually that was on this side as well and I think this one was wrong uh, as well because there's like a nail here let me see if I can pull this off there's like a nail here and you can kind of see um, right there where it was like the nail was uh, it's like a little bit of an indentation on the on the rubber where it was around this nail so I got to go and look at all the other switches I got to still clean it up it's still not clean so uh, I'm gonna get some magic erasers and kind of just lightly uh, clean up some of the plastics and, and stuff like that just kind of bring back some of the white because that's kind of a uh, dingy and then I got to address the back metal piece, which the only part that I need to kind of like, I guess, mask off is there's a, there's some text back there that I got to read, but I wanted to either remove that some way somehow, and then um, just paint the whole thing white and then reattach it or figure out some way to do that. And I need to figure out what I did with the hardware because I lost the hardware for this and for this front piece. I need to figure out what I did with it. But uh, yeah, here's all the cleaning and uh, rags and all kinds of little supplies, but uh, slowly coming together. Um, now I think when you turn it on, it actually, uh, it actually, let's see, let's see what it does. But uh, I think if we coin it up, let's see if it like freaks out or if it works. Uh, where's the coin thing? Okay, so before what it was doing, 
is when you would coin it up, the, the reels would just basically just sit and spin. And there's actually another um, like little motor down here that hits switches. And that would just kind of just spin all the time, all the time, all the time. So it wouldn't actually start the game until you went back to the reels and you actually... Um, let me see if I can show you. <clears throat> you had to have to go back to the reels, which are back here. And you'd actually have to hit the little lever because there's like a little lever back here. And I can show you a little bit later uh, with some light. But um, the contacts weren't making good contacts, so it would just kind of sit and spin. But now, actually, it doesn't do that. And I think I just have to uh, fix the reel because I think it's on the wrong number. So right now it's like on 600 or something like that. And I have to check and see um, what's going on there. And then also here, I think is the credits, right? So it has five credits right now. So I need to um, find out if it's it's storing that somehow or what it's doing. Because I just started the game up and it has that on there and that didn't reset. And then um, I need to figure out also it has numbers up here. And I need to figure out why those numbers are not lighting up. There's only one that lights up, and I think it's four. But if you look back here, let me just turn it off. So if you look back here, I'm just going to do this very carefully. If you look back here at the back glass, so here's the front part with all the light bulbs. And then if you look back here, it has uh, all the numbers. And I think the four bulb, which is this one here, I think, is the only one that I think is lighting up. So I need to figure out why. So I was kind of running through a game and I think they none of them light up. And I think that's the only one that comes on and I need to figure out why that is. So I need to do that. And I actually thought that this piece was missing, but it actually, it's kind of hard to see because um, it's a little dark. But this is just, uh, works with the scoring, I think, is what I was reading. Let me get that back on there. And the relays and all that are crazy. I need to get my light because I just have my little action camera right now. But um, yeah, so a lot of work still. Um, the update on these games were um, this Operation Wolf came in and it did not have sound. And this was kind of part of the same, um, I guess, like purchase. And we were able to get the sound working on this one. Um, the only thing I need to do is get the gun. Uh, it, it recoils, but it doesn't recoil as as strongly as it should and on this one it was a San Francisco rush and it had no force feedback so you used to have to hit the abort button in order to um, bypass the steering wheel test and there was no monitor uh, working I, there was a monitor in it but it wasn't working come to find out in the bottom there was a power supply um, there was like a little distribution and um, a couple of them were unplugged so I actually got this going almost 100 percent it just looks like the cap uh the monitor needs to be capped so that's good so that's three games and the fourth one's over there it's pleiades and this one pretty good not too bad needs a new cpo needs to address the t-molding but everything else is really rock solid on it it's pretty good and uh kind of worked on the marquee the coin door lights all that stuff just kind of getting a lot of the aesthetics oh and it needs a uh, I need to go looking through my parts because it needs a part of the coin door flap. So it needs that. But um, I've only been working on these games for a few days. So less than a week. And um, only had one that was really fully working. But now pretty much have three. Like red, Rush, you can play it. I mean, I think the red is, 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 is out on the monitor. But um, everything else seems to work fairly well. So... Uh, it's it's pretty much good to go as soon as the monitor gets capped which i think it has a neotech 27 is it 2701 i think in it and as soon as that gets capped that's going to be pretty much 100 percent uh get the gun working on this 100 percent but you can play the game right now it, it's fine and pleiades works and i just need to get this game fully working and then uh really really work on the cosmetic stuff on this game and i need to figure out how to address this my buddy again i need to contact him and see that's a project that he would want to take on and see if he can help with the matching of the colors and stuff like that some of these colors <clears throat> they may have faded over the time because uh, this game I think is from 1971 so um, I was actually I'm glad I read a little bit more on Pinside because I was 
gonna actually paint this white and um, just do these like kind of stenciled because these are all, they're all straight lines. You see that? All the artwork is straight lines. But I thought this artwork was really dirty. You see all these like lines in here? I thought it was just scratches over the years. But what that is is that's actually part of the artwork. So it has like this spider webbing um, design that's supposed to be there. So now I don't know what I'm going to do as far as the artwork. I don't know if I'm going to talk to my buddy about trying to just color match this white a little bit and kind of just touch up some of the stuff and just leave it and leave all that kind of patina and then um, come back here and address some of the pieces on the back glass that need to be addressed. Uh, there's some small like flaking and stuff. Uh, some right there uh it's all it's kind of where all the light light bulbs are at there's a uh, one right there if i can get the reflection away but i'm also thinking about changing this to leds because the heat from the bulbs is the primary reason why those tend to flake so i was going to see if i about getting that touched up and um thinking about triple thickening the glass so that way that uh that doesn't happen anymore but uh let me know what you think i this is my first pinball restoration it's my second pinball machine, but the first one that I got was brand new. So it did not have any of these problems. So I'm kind of jumping in with both feet on this one. And I'm trying not to make any mistakes and stuff, but I know that with the arcade games, you tend to um, want to restore it back to the original condition. But in pinball, there's a lot of modding and stuff, but I still want to kind of keep it original. I mean, I just like the original stuff. And it has the bells and chimes and all that stuff, and it's just so cool. I really, really like it. Even though it hasn't been keeping score correctly, uh, I still like to kind of just play it just to see if I can just hit the targets and just listen to the bells and stuff. So it's pretty cool. But hopefully soon here in the next week or so, it'll it'll look better, it'll play better, and it'll be good to go. And yeah, it was sold to me as a working game, but who man, does it have a lot of little things wrong with it to make it a working game? At least um, what I consider a working game, because it yes, it, it it'll kick out the pinball. Uh, it'll it'll play, but um, I don't think the score is correct when you're playing because it doesn't look like a lot of the targets and stuff uh, actually work when you hit it. Like it doesn't keep the correct score. So you'll see something here and it, it'll say like, hey, when it's lit, it'll be this much. But then when you look at the score reels, it doesn't actually uh, keep that score. So some of the switches I don't think are working and I know for a fact that the score reels are not working. But it's good. It's a fun project trying to get it all knocked out. And I was also told that the rubbers were changed out. If you look here, I don't know if you can see it. Because this camera doesn't do a good job as far as zooming in or close-ups. But you can kind of see like this rubber looks a little old. So I may have to go and try to figure out how to replace some of these. Because I think these were replaced, these bottom four. But I think these top four, these top four were not. And I think this one was, because this one looks newer. So I need to figure out these here and figure out how to get these pieces on both sides and just try to keep everything about the same age. So that way it's on a cycle as far as replacing the stuff. All right, so it's time to get back to work and I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can paint some of this. Um, so I got a whole bunch of like little paints and stuff that I'm gonna go through here. Uh, it's a bag of paint, so I'm just gonna kind of see what works. I have a bunch of different brushes. Uh, so there's one in here that I thought would be kind of cool to try. It's kind of very fine. Um, where is that paintbrush? Oh, here we go. What do you think of that one? Let's see. What do you think of that brush? That's a nice little point. So maybe allow me to do some detail work. So I'm going to go ahead and put some music on. So I'm probably not going to have anything, any of this recorded. Just so I can like listen. And uh, I'm going to try looking at some of these paints and see if any of these paints are kind of close. Or uh, I'm going to see if I can blend them to try to get them a little closer. All right, so I'm going to get back to work here. All right, sorry, the battery died. So what I was saying is I need to find them, um, or I need to print. I actually found them. I need to print the actual instruction cards for this. But um, that's about it, I think. Um, I'm just going to go through tonight, replace all these rubbers, the spring, um, and then I need to find out where these two things go. And then um, I think that would get me through the night. It's already kind of getting dark. But um, yeah, main one is going to be this next, trying to figure out how to address that. 
but it's coming along and then I still got to do the reels the reels are still kind of getting stuck but I went ahead and put some sandpaper on the the leaf um, switches to try to make a better connection but little by little I gotta see how much I can get done uh, just because the weather is actually really really nice right now and uh, just gonna go ahead and keep on working